If a single rocket at LDRS was the poster child for raw, sledgehammer, pedal to the metal power, then that honor would no doubt go to Derek DeVille's beautiful Freedom Fighter. Decked out on a paint finish proudly befitting the upcoming Independence Holiday, this 165-pound missile would be powered by a heart-stopping, ground-pounding package of three Cosden M3200 motors, which would push total power into the O-range. Assembly of these larger birds often takes some helping hands, and a number of eager volunteers help Derek with vehicle prep. Hey, hello, my name is Derek DeVille. I'm from Miami, Florida. This is my Freedom Fighter, as in graphite, I'm given the graphite composite fin can. Uh, the rocket is 12 inches in diameter, 15 feet tall, it's going to weigh 165 pounds at liftoff flying today on three Cosden M3200s, which should make for a full O9600, which is just barely into the O range. Uh, biggest flight that I've ever had. Previously flown this with an M5100 and two K550s, uh, so it's a fairly proven design. Uh, repainted, especially for this event, for tribute to the 4th of July and, and, and the namesake. Can I take the weight off? Yeah, you can yeah. take it off. Yeah, it's sitting on, remember, it's sitting on the stand. As the final step, the igniters were installed into the Cosden motors. The small wooden dowels ensure ignition at the top end of the motor to allow flame propagation down the entire length of the grain, a must for most core burning composite motors. Man, it's not the, fin can is made, uh, the fins are made out of quarter inch uh, foam core laid up with carbon and, and, and fiberglass composite and then secured to the, to the airframe by vacuum bag carbon fin to fin. Uh, Looking for about 14 G's on liftoff and about 75 to 8,000 feet. Should be. Okay, folks, this is O power. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, we've got a report. The main shoot is out. Everybody just keep your eyes up in the sky right now. Right now! Oh, yeah! 